Hello everybody. Today I'm going to present to you how to assemble your AV card so that you can use your iPads in your classroom. Um, I'm using a Capture, which is an app that you can use for your iPad, along with YouTube. And uh, this is a good way for you to present video, record it, and bring it into a YouTube channel that you could present for flip classrooms. And I always like to talk about the technology that I'm using whenever I'm presenting something. So today we have your AV cart. Uh, it's a very nice AV cart. It actually has sliding shelves on both sides that you can pull out uh, to put a laptop on or other equipment. It also has a compartment down below that is lockable, and actually all of this equipment will be located inside of that lockable cabinet um, where you can access. I've unboxed the materials that you'll use today uh, so that you can see it. Um, I have a projector, which you'll use to obviously project your videos uh, to students or whatever's coming off your iPad. I have a speaker. That's to increase the volume. There is a built-in speaker into the projector, but for most classroom sizes, may not be loud enough. And then I also have an Apple TV, which is the wireless device that links your Apple or your iPad devices or Apple devices to the projector itself. I also have several cords, and I'm going to go over the cords first so that you have an idea of what you have and what it's to be used for. We're only going to use two of these items today. First of all, is a VGA and audio cable. Um, this is to hook up a laptop. Uh, that could be a PC or a uh, Macintosh. Macintosh would need a, an adapter, uh, but you can hook up hardwire a uh, PC into your projector uh, to use for your class. You also have included a set of RCA cables. And the RCA cables could be very valuable. Um, the RCA cables could be used for presenting a DVD uh, in your classroom. Uh, it could also show a VHS if you still have that technology. Uh, it has three wires. Uh, the first one is the yellow cable. That is your video uh, cable. And then you have two audio cables. One is red for re right side and then also white for the left side. And it is also labeled so it's fairly convenient. We're not going to use this one today. Uh, and then we are going to have the two cables that you are going to use today. Um, an HDMI cable. And that is at a high speed, uh, high definition, both audio and video. And then also a standard audio cable, and that is to hook up your projector to the speaker that is supplied. So the first thing we're going to do is, and as I said before, that everything is unboxed, is we are going to go ahead and get the projector set up. And the first thing we're going to do is get the power cord. Uh, it looks like a standard PC cord uh, for a computer or other electronics. And it plugs into the lower bottom side of the projector itself. And then you can just route the cables in any way that you think is convenient. I'm plugging this one closest to the switch. There's a red power switch on uh, the cart, which is nice, so you can power things on and off. Okay? And then the other thing that you have is you have a speaker, which has a power supply, and then you have your power supply for your Apple TV. And we're going to start with the Apple TV next. The Apple TV comes in a box like this. It's very important that you'll see there's a label. That label is how you find it in the Wi-Fi. Um, so that you can hook up to it. It's a very small device, very simple to use. It's just a little box, looks like this. And where you want to probably put it is to the side, pointing outward, so that the uh, uh, remote and also your Apple devices can easily hook up to it. So here's the power cord. The power cord is actually in the bottom of this box. Um, also supplied in the Apple TV is a very small remote, and that's to control your Apple TV, um, some of the setups. And the power supply just easily hooks up into the back of the Apple TV. Uh, there's a little power cable plug-in. And then once again, you can route your, your cable. Anyway, I'm putting it right next to where I plug in the projector. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and hook up the actual HDMI cable. And the HDMI cable is the cable that will go between the Apple TV and the projector itself. It's a very simple cable. Um, it's only a one plug. Um, you can only put it in one way. I will let you know that there are little caps that go onto the ends of the HDMI cable because they are sensitive to dirt and debris. Uh, it's high definition uh, and there's a tapered end. For the Apple TV, you're actually going to plug it in where it says HDMI tapered end down. And then when supplying that same cord to the, uh, to the projector, you'll see where it says HDMI. It's on the top left hand side. It's actually tapered side up. And that's quite common that they are, um, could be up or down either way. And I'm just going to kind of move the cables around so that the Apple TV is sitting neatly on the device. And then the last device you really have to hook up, and it's fairly simple, 
is the speaker system. You could go ahead and go ahead and run your your uh, your projector and your Apple TV as it is, um, but most of you probably will want to have a speaker supply that's loud enough to get to the classroom. So there's a standard audio plug. It's just an eighth inch jack stereo cable, okay? And it plugs in the back of the projector where it says audio out because obviously our path or flow is leaving out of the projector and into the speaker. So you'll see a spot where it says line in. And then this white box that came with the speaker, that's your power supply. There's also an Allen key in there because if we were going to mount it to a wall, and obviously we're leaving it on our cart, so it's not going to be mounted. So you can leave that Allen key inside the box. Now this is a quite large plug because it's a DC supply or a direct current supply. So I'm going to plug it at the very end of the power strip, and that leaves the other outlets open for plugging in other items if you need to charge your iPad or something like this. And then we're going to plug that cord into where it says 12 to 24 VDC, which is the uh, DC voltage supply for it. And you're essentially all hooked up. And it's a very convenient, easy way to get yourself set up and ready to go. Um, there is a power switch, and I would make sure that was off on the surge protector as you're hooking things up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to give things a moment. You heard a little click. That click is from the speaker because I have the speaker already on. I'm going to roll the cart back because we're actually going to project things. And I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see what I'm projecting. It still will be a little difficult to see everything, but I want to make sure that you have an idea of what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power up the projector. And it makes a noise. It gives you a, a positive audio signal that uh, something is about to happen. And when you first turn it on or hook it up, you're going to notice some things. You're going to notice, and this one's already been used, so you're not going to see it on this. Um, you'll see that it's going to ask you what language, and it'll already be set to English, so just press the enter button on the actual projector itself, and there's an enter button right there. You also have volume up and menus, and you can pretty much control everything. There is a remote for the projector, but 95% of things you can do is right here on the projector itself, okay? Um, you'll also want to go to source. And on your projector, that source button, you're going to want to press that. And mine already went to HDMI, but you'll see the selections. You're going to go to HDMI, and that means it's pulling the source from the HDMI cable. Okay? And now we're in the Apple TV, and you'll see that mine has a menu going on right now. But this will be usually what you'll see, and it's giving you that you're, you're set up for AirPlay. This is the Wi-Fi that our school district's using. And then down here is that same ID that was on the box. And that is very important because that is how you're going to find your Apple TV for broadcasting whatever's coming from your iPad. So right away what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our iPad. And right now mine is not hooked up. So when I turn it on, you're not going to see anything come from onto the projector. So I'm going to type in my code, and all of you should have a passcode on your on your Apple T or on your iPad because it just protects you from people accessing. Um, and then the first thing you're going to do on your standard iPad is from the bottom by the home button, just slide your finger upward, and it's going to give you several options, menu options. We're just concerned about AirPlay, which is kind of in the middle to the right. It says AirPlay, and press that, and you'll see iPad, and then you're going to see several choices. And the reason why you have several choices is because there's several other iPads in your building. We're going to go ahead and locate this code here, which is WCELAC1. So we're going to press that. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in that AirPlay code. And that's how we're going to access AirPlay, and we're all set. So that's the way you get set up with your... Uh, Apple TV and also your iPad. And then the very opposite thing, if you want to go back to your iPad, you slide up your finger and your choices would be to go back to your iPad that shuts off your Apple TV and allows somebody else to use it because if another student wants to do that, you have to shut it down and allow them to access it that same way. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to give me a call or uh, email me, michael.depasquale at portage.k12.in.us. Thank you.